Dance lesson number six is continuously evolve and experiment uh, on the personal side as well as the professional side. My, uh, my story on this one is that back to there are no silver bullets. Cooking was always a challenge. I love to cook, but who has time to do that? You get home and it's whatever time, five o'clock, six o'clock, everybody's hungry and they're sitting there looking at you. We went through, uh, we call them the eras. Uh, we had the frozen dinner era for a while. Uh, we had the bag o' salad era, uh, where you would, I would get some chicken or something and cook it up and we'd have salad, dump it out, and, that was, and then we kind of got tired of that. Then I had the crock pot era, um, and in that era, it ended. You have to continuously experiment. In today's world, you know, there are a lot more options, and uh, my daughter, who's an attorney, her, they're right now in an era, and it's the era of the drive through Panera era. Um, which my husband looked at that and says, wow, can you believe how much she spends on Panera? And I looked at him like, you really never did get it that I did all that stuff, did you? <laughs> um, so be, you know, be ready to continuously evolve and experiment, and then professionally as well. Uh, in the statistics that I've read, I've noted that women tend to leave the workforce uh, after they have children. So it seems like we, we don't get our fair share into manufacturing and STEM careers right coming out of school. I mean, there are far too few. But then once they get to be early 30s and uh, you've got two careers and children and some people just, just like, it's too much. And they, especially the, if their husband does well, you know, then they back out and uh, that's it. You know, they become stay-at-home moms, which is perfectly fine. It's great and it's the right solution for some people. But I'd encourage you, if you're in that kind of situation where you think, gosh, I'm just not sure I can take any more, think about the kind of options that we have in today's workforce. And you may have to ask your employer about these, but just, if you can just hang in there, you know, take part-time for a while, or job sharing, or maybe a little bit of flexing of the schedules. You know, I've, I've found, you know, in our company, and I think the same is, is true for most, you know, employers are willing to work with an employee because they've put a lot of training and investment into you. And if we can just get you through those tough years until your children get in school, you know, then you're able to, over time, continually give back. So, and just because you go do that for a while doesn't mean that you're on the mommy track. It, you will be for a few years, of course. You're not, you're not going to get the plumbing assignments. But my experience has been with women that I've worked with at Caterpillar, in fact, some of them being my friends, uh, that work part-time. Some of them even take that opportunity to go, um, they go get involved in the community. Uh, one of them was, became the president of the Junior League. As, and finally, her husband said, okay, you're working part-time and you're president of the Junior League, so you're pretty much working full-time and then some, why don't you just go back to work? And when she came back to work, we pretty quickly promoted her to being a supervisor. Uh, and that leadership experience she had in volunteering in the community really translated into work. She was an excellent technical person uh, when she left. And then when she came back, uh, she was uh, an excellent leader, still is an excellent leader today.